Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Red. Last time, we made our way through the Root of Trainers. We had our Flash TM ready, and we never used it. <laughs> and now we've made it to Rock Tunnel. Maybe we'll use it then. And I already battled that trainer off screen. Alright, so, now for normal voice. Alright, now what I'm going to do before we go in there, I'm going to find uh, this one, I think. Yep, I'm going to teach this to Pikachu because after some research, I found out that Pikachu doesn't learn Thunderbolt by nature in this move. I mean, in this game. Uh, it has to be TM, so I'm going to teach a Thunderbolt. Because I feel like it. Be a little bit more powerful now. Alright, let's... Start button. Yes, let's start button and then switch this around, I guess. Because I think Rock Tunnel might not be the best for Pikachu, but we'll see. Alright, so let's head on in. And it's looking mighty uh, Atari 2600. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, man, that green. Jeez, I, don't, I didn't know that did that for the menu. Alright, what I'm going to do first is set up a repel. So that these Pokemon don't bother me. And then, I'm gonna have my... Uh, Kadabra, because that's the one I to taught it. Use Flash. Blinding Flash lights the area. So now we can see. Alright. And Rock Tunnel is filled with things like this. You go away and then you find a dead end. It's basically a maze, kind of. So you just want to make sure you try not to waste as many steps on pointless... Uh like, dead ends. <laughs> okay, and it's a good thing I switched out uh, Pikachu, because this guy's a ground-type Cubone. I don't think we've seen it before, so this is kind of cool. It has a lot of depressing lore around it, which we might learn more about in this game, possibly. Uh, but hey, this one's good for Pikachu. Well, hot damn, we could use Thunderbolt to test it out to see what we can do. I always did like the animation and sound effect for Thunderbolt. I thought it was pretty cool retro sound, you know? We beat the Pokemaniac. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so while I'm doing this, going through some of this rock tunnel, I want to say something I forgot to mention in the last part was when, uh, I was talking about the Magic School Bus Rides Again reboot on Netflix. Forgot to say that they actually brought back the original voice actor for Miss Frizzle. Although, it's not like she'll get used much, I don't think, because, you know, she passed on her teaching to Torch to freaking what's her face? Like her sister, voiced by Kate McKinnon, who is not a bad actress. She's been some funny stuff, but and she's been funny before. But I just, uh, I'm not liking her. She just doesn't, well, I'm not liking her. I just don't think she's, she just hasn't sold me yet. She doesn't really have as the same kind of personality or strong, like, charisma that the original Miss Frizzle had. And it doesn't, I'm not saying it has to be, like, the same kind of thing, but, like, something, like, you know. Because it's just really bland and boring, which I guess kind of goes for the whole show and, and the rest of the kids. It's just kind of bland and boring. None of them really stick out too much, at least from not stuff that's not, like, haven't seen before. But most of them kind of look and feel the same. Like they copy-pasted a bunch of kids and just put them in the classroom. And maybe changed their clothing a bit. That's basically what it is. I know I may have simplified it a little bit, but that's that's what it is, in my opinion. Because, hey, if you like that show, good on you. I'm sure, you know, if kids learn something from the show, then, you know, it's probably already done its job. At least for, like, uh, doing good for the kids. Because, obviously, if it makes money, then the studio has done their job. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, if the kids learn something and maybe find some entertainment in it, then sure. I mean, like, it's just not for people in my generation, I guess, because... Uh, or, I guess, I don't know, I just... Hmm. Because when does that stop? When does that argument stop? Like, what's the standard for what kids are going to watch? 
I mean, do you really want them watching garbage, or do you want them to watch, like, actual good stuff? Like... You know what I'm saying? I act like somebody's gonna answer. <laughs> you know, I've been talking to myself too long. Alright. Mashing buttons. Schoolgirl. Or, no, trainer. Sorry. Uh, I know that might have been offensive to you. Alright. But it's alright. Man, Kadabra, you're already low. What are you doing? Oh, and speaking of reboots, actually, very recently, two new reboots went up on Disney XD, which I think are worth talking about. Well, at least one of them is. I think I don't, because the other one I don't have much to say on. Uh, one of them is DuckTales. Woohoo. Uh, if you don't know, it's a reboot from a Disney show from the late 80s, 90s. Uh, and, you know, it's it was good. While it was good for its time, it's, you know... It's pretty simple, I guess you could say. I haven't watched it a whole lot, but I have the general gist of it. However, this new one came out, and it's actually pretty much... Like, just think of a reboot for a show. Like, think about a show. Okay, this, there's a show right here, and we're going to reboot it. What do you do? Just it pretty much the DuckTales reboot does everything right, like, that you need to. It both has, like new like updated stuff like the animation music and it's all like a, a good modern update but also keeps true to the original stuff with keeping the same spirit and what made the old one good it pretty much does everything <laughs> most things right I'm not gonna say everything because you know not everything's perfect but you know just from what I've seen it's just like man and from what I've heard from people it's like wow this guy or the show I guess did made the right choices however with a different disney xd show that came out that's another uh retread or uh, sorry <laughs> reboot uh a new spider-man cartoon oh sorry came out and if you know me or if you've seen some of my videos you probably know that i really like spider-man i've let's played a game of his and i've i really like him I've seen the movies a bunch of times, like, Spider-Man Homecoming was a very funny, entertaining Spider-Man movie, probably has like the best Spider-Man character we've seen in film so far, and it's definitely a very, uh, cause it's, while it's not as big as some of the other Marvel movies, it's definitely good, like, smaller film, and the original Sam Raimi trilogy uh, I personally like all the films, even though it's like some of them are better than others, but I personally think all of them are good. Like, I'm just, I'm just thinking of the, the line James Franco said in Spider-Man 3, where he tell he is, like, he says to the waitress, like, how the pie is and stuff, he's like, so good. Like, in just a, in a soft voice, like, so good. That's basically how I feel with the Sam Raimi movies. Uh, kind of, I guess. But anyway, and I've seen a lot of the shows. Well, pretty much all of them. Actually, hang on. I'm trying to think, what shows have I not seen at all? Well, I guess not seen at all is a strong word. But ones that I haven't really watched full episodes, like multiple episodes of, is the two like really old live action shows, like the one from the 70s and the Japanese one. I have not seen those. But to uh, to be fair though, uh, here the live action one that's like in the American version is bad. Like not even Stan Lee likes it. Uh, and the Japanese one is just looks kind of weird. Like I don't know. I mean it looks kind of fun, but oh sorry I hit the thing. But I don't know about that. Other than that though, I've seen all of them and mm, like oh jeez repel. But anyway. So they just, of course, with the uh, huge hit that uh, Ultimate Spider-Man was. Just look at the reviews. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, you know that one. I'm not gonna say anything about it because there are other people who can talk about that better than I could. But with this new one, it looked, or at least it sounded, promising when I first heard about it people talk the creators talking about how they're really trying to get the Spider-Man character right and just take him back to his roots of 
you know, simple life. But before him joining all Avengers stuff and whatever and trying to join with other heroes. So it sounded promising. But then we saw the actual show. <laughs> I mean, I think there are some people who debate that this might be the worst Spider-Man show. Like, worse than Ultimate Spider-Man, worse than the 70s show, worse than the Japanese one. Uh, yeah. It's that bad. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really watched a full episode, unless you count the the shorts that you that you could combine into like one episode, I guess. I've seen those, but other than those, the only, only stuff I've seen is just like clips from like reviews I've watched. But, you know, a lot of the stuff I said about that Magic School Bus reboot kind of applies to this Spider-Man reboot. It's kind of just lazily done and just feels like a cash grab or just something to get Spider-Man name on something because like all the characters are just like poorly done or at least they're done better before in some regard. Like all of them are like pre-named Spider-Man characters or Marvel characters I guess. Uh, and it just feels like they were either done before better in a different version or what they do decide to do new with them, which is very few things by the way, uh, it does it very poorly, so yeah. In fact, a lot of the stuff in the show in general is just like bland, uninteresting, and just like not, they do nothing really new or interesting with it. Like, and that kind of applies to a lot of the uh, storylines. For, or not storyline, but like plots for episodes, I guess. Like you could definitely, um, wait, what was I thinking? Oh, I wasn't looking at the freaking Pokemon. No, I was too distracted by my talking. Please do something. Oh no, it's not very effective. Rock throw. Oh god, please don't kill. Wait, what am I thinking? Oh, wow, this is a crit. Wow, you're pathetic, Onyx. But anyway, um. Like, I'm not sure, well actually no, I do have, I think I do know what most people's biggest problem is with the show, but I'm not going to say it yet. Uh, one of my biggest problems with it is like, probably just the character representations that are just kind of poorly done. Not in the sense of just like, they made a bad choice of what to do with a character and then just like, oh my god. But more so just like, they're just not interesting and just bland, they do nothing really new or interesting with them. Uh, and that kind of, and unfortunately, that applies to the main character, uh, as well. Our favorite web swinging wise quack, quack, <laughs> uh, hero Spider-Man. I don't know. I can't talk today. Why am I even trying? <laughs> like... I'm trying to muster up the words of how I feel about this new Spider-Man. He's basically like, there's a better version of him somewhere else. <laughs> because he, they always, the writers, I'm not going to try and speak for him, but in a lot of the dialogue that's with him, he's usually either saying something nerdy or something uh, science related because, uh, to quote a review guy who said this, the, the writers just really want you to know that he's a nerd who loves science. Which, I mean, is true, but it's not to that extent to where he'll, like, just talk about it constantly. It, it would be like, it's like, he's like the equivalent of just like, you know, the the guy who knows stuff but doesn't, like, uh, like, show it off, I guess you could say. He was smart, but he's not, like, you know... The, uh, the, the, the electrons will compulse. The, 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 he wasn't like that, no. And I, and nor do I think it's really like that entertaining or funny to have him that way. And if you think that changes when he's on the mask, on uh, nope. Because when he's in his Spider-Man costume, he never shuts up. He's basically almost like. The Ultimate Spider-Man version where he's always saying wacky things and never shuts up. Like pretty much like pretty much Marvel thinks he's Deadpool, but 
for kids. I don't know why they think that, but hey, you know, kids love their jokes, I guess. And you look, I'm aware, I because here before you try to tell me wrong, I like look, I know that Spider-Man is kind of known for telling jokes while he was, or like wisecracks, one-liners when he's in his costume, but I, but not like this much because even then he knew when to shut up he knew when to just be quiet and he knew when to take things seriously those all kind of fall into the same category but whatever oh geez why did I stay in again and yeah, whatever this is probably fine um and plus even if like the stuff he said was funny like it's not funny even like so like, 95% of the stuff he says isn't even funny, so already that's a dunzo. Which is kind of, it's really crappy when you think all the characters are, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, most of the characters are just like that. Or at least a poor, done, poorly done version. Because usually you're like, oh, well, I may not like this, uh, this main character too much, but maybe I can get some enjoyment out of the, the side characters. <laughs> no. If you want more details on like, just like why the show just doesn't work and what the problems with it, uh, there's a bunch of reviews. One, uh, I definitely recommend is from, I believe I don't remember the channel name. I think it's Nick Tendo. He does a review on the show, or at least the first couple episodes. And that's very done, well done. He made some good points. So I definitely recommend watching that. It's also a pretty entertaining review as well. At least I thought it was. Cause yeah, oh yeah, and I didn't even talk about the freaking biggest problem with the show. Which I mean I guess I'm not gonna really say much about it because everybody has said so much about this problem so much that I have not much new to say on it. The animation the like Again, it's cheap flash with a, a bunch of CG incorporated in it and just does not mesh well at all. Like, uh, the reviewer I was talking about earlier, he made a good point of saying, like, the freaking CG effects blend together with this show worse than the effects in the first Spider Man movie did. Like, I am dead serious. And it honestly looks like it. And hang on. Eh, whatever, I'll stick Charmander in. And yeah, everything just looks like bland, uninteresting, uh, no creative designs, the animation's stilted and not fluid at all, and the colors are faded and stuff, and, bat and it's just lazily done. It's purely for time reasons, is what it is. But anyway, I think I've said enough of the show. I could probably have rambled on forever about that, but I feel like I need to just get done with this because I've been taking way too long with these freaking trainer battles because I haven't been focusing on them that much. But yeah, like I said, there's other reviews that can talk more about it than I can. At least unscripted wise. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I feel like I just focus a bit more on what I'm doing rather than uh, you know continuously rambling and just losing track of what I was doing. The squeakiness though. I probably should heal, but Kadabra can't handle it. I'm gonna talk in my Anaboy voice uh, all the time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's that's a you know good question. Uh riddle me this guys. Why am I such a dumbass? <laughs> uh, why are you still 28, Charmander? Come on now, or Charmeleon, sorry. I'm not giving you as much credit as I should be. But man, why aren't you 29 yet? I freaking have been, like, teaching you all this stuff and, like, how you fight these rock types and you just don't learn anything. Bind? Oh, good golly. Can I please be free of it soon? At least it's not a rock type move, so at least I'm not like getting bashed by rocks. 
I'm really hoping I could get to the end of Rock Tunnel in this part. I'm not gonna stress it out too much, like, I'm not gonna, like, force myself to do it, but I feel like... I just have a strange feeling that it's shorter in this than it is in the remake. So I feel like I should be able to get it done. I think we're, like, almost halfway or so there. At least... Uh, I don't remember Rock Tunnel that well, actually. So I might be wrong about that. So, there goes the show. If you should take my word for it or not. I guess I could start using Doug Trio a bit, but meh. He's too high of a level. Kadabra dabra. Kadabra. Alright, let's see now. I'm gonna switch some things around. Let's put Pikachu at the front and heal some guys. Oh, yeah, speaking of Spider Man that I was talking about earlier, something I'm planning on doing, or actually, I am doing right now, that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm currently in the middle of making my own costume for Spider Man for various events coming up because actually I don't know when this is going up so this might be dated so I'm not going to say like if I'm, uh, I'm going to this because I might have already gone by this point that you're watching so yeah but hey is that the way I came? no I don't think so because there's a trainer there that I haven't battled so hmm Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so this is a new one. So, hmm, let's see. Because I don't remember if the layout's the same entirely. And, okay, that, that repel wore off, okay. Repel's always wearing off. Alright. Because I don't remember if the layout's changed at all. Hmm. Could be the same, but... I feel like I'm getting close, but... Yeah. Not really, I used mostly special things. In fact, I think all all special things are great on a trainer. Don't try anything funny in the dark! Man, suddenly suggestive, okay. to wonder what like freaking junior girl scouts are doing in the middle of the star cave like what assignment were they set on to do well i hope we have fun freaking lasting that in the cave because otherwise because i'm not coming back Freaking more. I think this is the exit, right? It should be. It is! Okay, we're moving here for safe measures. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode right here. We'll continue on with the continuation of this route, I guess, at the next part. I think I'm done now. We made it through Rock Tunnel. I think it's a good accomplishment. Alright, see you guys next time.